hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh today we are out here enjoying the sun in the nature and i'm coming to you today with the uh, five ways that germany changed me video we are going to talk about five things that really changed me as soon as i moved here i've been living here for the past uh, three years and this is probably my fourth year in september it's going to be exactly four years and today we're going to talk about these five things so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the food. German kitchen is really good, guys. Germans have really good bread, really good potatoes, and they eat a lot of bread. And because of their food, I've really gained so much weight. Germans also have Knodel, Brize, Käse Spätzle, you know all those things. If you live in Germany, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is exactly why I've gained weight. The other thing about uh, food in Germany is that they have a lot of restaurants. Talk about Indian restaurants, talk about Italian restaurants, talk about Greek restaurants, talk about Chinese restaurants. I mean, one would have really so much choice of where to go and eat, not just in one kitchen or, or something like this, but they have uh, restaurants from almost all the countries. And this is exactly why it's easy for one to just gain weight. It's easy for one to change from 57 kilo, kilograms to 70 kilograms. But it's okay. I'm working on it. It's not so bad. But one uh, bad thing is that there's a very limited African cuisine or African kitchen in Germany. I've only, attend, I've only been to one African restaurant in Kohl. It's called Shaka Zulu. I think something like this where I could eat uh, some African food. There is very limited African food in Germany. But they have really, really good food. And also bad food. They have a lot of processed food, of course. I will not. I, I can also mention that. You can buy a whole Italian meal in a supermarket. And because it's processed, it's meant to stay for long. It has a lot of chemical going on and it's obviously not healthy for one's body. They also have that. And because they don't have so much time to prepare, you know, in my last video, I told you that Germans work hard and I also have a full-time job and sometimes I just don't want to cook. I'm just going to a supermarket and pick my processed meal and eat and it's good. And because of this, one can really gain weight. Something that I never used to do. And in Africa, where I come from in Zimbabwe, we don't have all those uh, restaurants from all over the world, like what German has. And this is why we were not gaining so much weight. We would cook, we'll cook at home, get our vegetables from the garden and eat, and it was okay. But here, people don't cook a lot. And for me, let me talk. Let, let me not talk about other people, okay? For me, I don't really find time to cook all the time. And this is why I get to go to restaurants all the time. And this is not healthy. I've gained a lot of weight. German food <laughs> has changed me, guys. The second thing that we want to talk about is a sport. German has taught me to do a lot of sport. Talk about driving a bicycle, talk about swimming. I've also learned um, climbing, frisbee, and uh, taking a walk in the nature. Why am I doing all this sport or why have I learned to do all that? The first thing is, of course, I've gained a lot of weight and I want to lose weight. It's logic. And the second thing, the most important one, is that I work um, with disabled children and full time. And most of the times I have to be standing all the time. And when I'm done with work, sometimes I used to have these neck pains, really strange pains in my muscles, in my legs, arms, everywhere. And then I decided, let me just do sport and maybe to ease my muscles and this worked really good if you're suffering from that please um, just try doing sport and the other thing is why i do sport is because uh, sometimes when I'm, I'm free my friends don't have time if you watched my expectations versus reality video you'll know exactly what i'm talking about people never have time here in this side of the world and sometimes when i'm free and they're not free I just use my time in Zumba, doing Zumba courses or going to the gym because this is also helping me. It's a positive thing. And yeah, German has taught me to do sport, guys. Isn't this good? Something that I never needed back home because I never gained weight. I was never working full time. You know what I mean? So the third thing we want to talk about today is a time. My God, I used to be so bad in keeping time. I used to be so bad in keeping appointments. But I've learned that when people say let's meet at 1 o'clock, they mean 1 o'clock. You know, with Zimbabwean time, 1 o'clock is 2. Let's meet at 2 o'clock for 3. 
something like this you know people can in zimbabwe where i come from people can come an hour later and it's still acceptable and it's still okay but not here my husband usually say a time is money babe and i think he means it here when people say let's meet at one o'clock they mean exactly one o'clock in fact they mean a five to one five minutes before the right time and yeah i've learned that time is important and time is money and it needs to be kept like that so um i used to be late for appointments uh, before but not anymore i'm not yet 100 percent. i don't really come at five to one but i come maybe at one o'clock or five past one i'm still better i don't come at two but maybe five past one but i'll get there i promise you i'll be better So the fourth thing that we want to talk about is social life. Yeah, I'm a very social person. Oh, I used to be very social. I'm that type of a person that when you meet when you meet me in a bus and we start talking and we start vibing, then we can be friends the next day. I, I don't really take time in making friends and, and things like that. I, I really talk to everyone and yeah, I'm very loud. But uh, Germans are not the type of people. They've taught me to be a little bit antisocial. Why? Because Germans are introverts. They are not really talking a lot. They are not really uh, sharing a lot. Maybe it takes time for them to trust the next person or to talk to the next person. And this is what I've learned too. I've learned not to trust anyone. I've learned not to talk to everyone. I've learned to just keep my circle so small and uh, very um not with everyone with me and the other thing is uh with german people they can uh, vibe with you you know when you're working together or when you're talking uh, something like this but when you no longer have anything connecting you with you they can actually forget you for example you can go out with uh, germans out for drinks and everything and then you meet them the next morning at work they don't know you like yeah you have to start afresh to introduce yourself this is what I've also learned. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, I'm a bit introvert now. I'm no longer that loud, that everywhere, you know, because um, in Zimbabwe, I used to be everywhere in the sense that I used to do a lot of voluntary work. I used to do, um, I used to be part of Junior Chamber International. If you're from Junior Chamber International, hello. I used to do a lot of these things that make me make network with other people, mingle with other people. But here, there's nothing like that. Like, you have to live for yourself. You have to do your own thing. And this is what I've also learned. I'm no longer doing any voluntary work. I'm just doing me, work, and my husband, of course. Nothing much. You know, this is what I've learned. Should we call it antisocial or introvert? I don't know. But I've changed this way. Yeah, so we've come to almost the end of this video. We're going to talk about the last thing. The fifth thing that we want to talk about is recycle bins. German has a very interesting way of recycling. You know what I mean? In Zimbabwe, we only have one bin. One has to only have one bin in their house and it's enough to just throw away everything. But in German, it's something else, babe. In German, we have four, I think four or five different bins. You have a separate bin for paper, you have a separate bin for plastic, you have a separate bin for glasses and just bottles, tinned foods or anything like this. And you also have a separate bin for throwing away food stuff that can get rotten. Leftovers, it could be plants or anything that can get rotten. You put it in a separate bin. Why does German do all this? It's because uh, they recycle everything that is used can be recycled and be reused again and the th other thing is they want to keep their environment clean you know when you're throwing away uh, when you're throwing a paper on the ground the environment is no longer clean it might affect the plants or animals that are living on this ground or or whatever that can happen that is not unhealthy for the inhabitant this is exactly why german has all these things it makes it easier also for the industry if everything is separated so i've learned to not throw away my papers everywhere i've learned to not throw away um, my plastics everywhere there is a separate bin for plastic here so yeah i think it's it's actually not a bad idea when i think about it it's actually a good idea because it teaches you order to be smart and you don't have to stress about everything else because you have your beans separately and 
it's easier for everyone for me and the industry too so i've learned uh to recycle my waste in a different way things that we don't know in zimbabwe we can just throw away papers everywhere. Now, I'm not saying Zimbabwe is bad or I'm not saying Zimbabwe is dirty, but I'm just saying, yeah, it's not that important because I don't think we recycle everything that we use like Germany. But yeah, tell me what you think about this video. Comment down below and let me know how wherever you are staying has changed you, how this country that you moved into or wherever you stay has changed you in a certain way. And give this video a comment give this video a like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'll see you in my next video bye